You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Welcome, welcome. And uh, listen, last night, Andrew was on fire. We did Adam Ray's show. Yeah. He was on, he was so quick. It was like, oh, I want to tell that. But he was he beat me to it. We had a couple of good jokes. Adam no, Ray, you did. Adam Ray did a He's uh, always quick, Andrew. Dr. Phil Oh my god, dude. He's already starting with you right now. You know now. what, dude? He is. He's quicker than me. <laughs> I'm slow, dude. No, you're yeah, not. Slow burn, dude. Just starting I'm speeding it up. And yeah. I will see, you know what, dude? One day, dude, I'm gonna be the champ of speeding it up. Mm. Pop, 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 pop. You'll see. Let's introduce our guest. Not yet. No, please. No, no, don't. Not yet, not Let's yet. let him sit for another minute. Yeah, yeah, because um Yeah, he's been bothering me. <laughs> our guest? <laughs> No, just he in general, mm. you know. What's been going on? Well, over the years, you know, I've been seeing him around, right? And he, I feel like he gets offended easily and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, he's mm -hmm. just like, hey, come on, Bob, and this and that. But I love him as a performer. I really do. I think he's just so interesting. What a, what a, what a vibe. You want to introduce him or you just want to leave it hanging like that? Do you want to? Taylor, Taylor Williamson. You do not know his name? I do. I just said it. <laughs> I got so nervous. Taylor Williamson. Name. Yeah, we couldn't get Taylor Tomlinson, but we got Taylor Williamson on yeah, the yeah. show. I, I said to get Tomlinson. Yeah, you said that is the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, uh, it's a little too soon for that one. Is it too soon? Can I tell you, she's so talented. She is. There's, we have nothing in common. Yeah. From San Diego, uh -huh. but like that's it. But like, there's like a one-way rivalry with I have with her. Because yeah. I get tagged every time she gets a Netflix special or yeah. she she hosts a TV yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Taylor Comedy. And I'm like. I think you meant Taylor Tomlinson. Oh, oh no. I got brought up as her recently. You know how they say um, dogs look like their owners? <laughs> this one does not. Uh, to me, it does. <laughs> Let me see. His belly is like his head. Well, they both said, I asked you before the show, you both have what the same, beautiful dog. same trauma, right? Yeah. What happened to the dog that happened to you? We both have uh, abandonment issues and yeah. uh, uh, neglect. <laughs> and uh, we, were both, we were both in a hoarding situation in a car with 20, 20 uh, dogs. Really? Really? Yeah, both of us, we grew up like that. And this is Betty. This is baby Betty. Baby yeah, Betty. And you yeah. knitted her sweater. I knitted this with my own hands. Is she on fentanyl? Why is she nodding off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's nodded off like four times already. She's honestly, don't take this the wrong way. Is she from Bakersfield? <laughs> She's from Los Angeles area. Okay. I don't know where. So yeah, Bakersfield. Bakersfield, yeah. When she doesn't... When she's up and rambunctious, I want her to sleep. I put on your show and she falls asleep very quickly. Okay. See, see what you're doing right insult, now? Insult, insult does not work. See what you're doing right now? What happened? You don't do that. No, I'm a, I'm a fan. <laughs> no. San Diego. I love how we tried it. San Diego. I love it. It you didn't sound like it. of you that I love, dude. What can I Keep doing it. <laughs> what can, so listen, so Bobby, yeah. Bobby, like yeah. a couple of years ago, he... I see him in the hallway at the comedy store, yeah. guy, and he's been he's randomly very nice to me. Like when I was 18 years old, he helped me. Can I just say one thing real quick? Please, yeah. I just realized, yeah. you know, Hitler did that with his mustache, but he did it with his eyebrows. Oh wow! Wow, and it's really wow. Are you telling a Jewish guy that he has Hitler eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> is that your comedy? Is that your comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. During this time? Yeah, so anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I still don't understand. Are you saying I, my, it was, I, it's an observation. Eye, go ahead. Eyebrow my eyebrows. They're just short. I, I like it. Anyway, let's move on. These are natu natural. Uh, that's great. Those are natural eyebrows? Yeah. Told you. Oh, you did? Yeah. We had a I bet. that before the show. I said, yeah, yeah, I bet yeah. you those are natural eyebrows. Yeah, there's, there's no way you cut them that way. No, I said, those are natty. Natural. That's all natty, amazing, baby. Dude. Yeah. Those are God-given. So go ahead, sorry. Jewish God-given, no less. I, I didn't, didn't know, know you were Jewish. I, I, we did not I, yeah. know you were Jewish. Yeah, I didn't know you were Jewish. We would not have had you on the show. My mom told me to start mentioning and it helped my career these days, you know? Is that what you're... Yeah, yeah. It'll, help me, it'll help me get attacked. Say it how she would have said it, though. Yeah. Say it how she... Um, how would your mom say it? Hey, Taylor, you should say you're Jewish. Your, what? <laughs> She's your, shy? Is your mom your dad? I, actually, a single mom, yeah, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Whenever oh, I got oh. punished, she would say I'm a, I'm a mother and a father. Oh. You were abandoned? Yeah, a little bit. What happened to dad? Yeah. He's around. We wish him well. He's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean? He has a good LinkedIn profile, you know? But he wasn't in the house when you... He was in his house. What does he do? Um, He he was an insurance agent. And then... No. Uh, yeah, no more of that. But um, if you need insurance, you... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to look up for your dad. I, I want to support you, not your father. And your father wasn't there for you, it sounds support like. Support him. You know, divorced parents, you know? You how, make, when, how old? Like a comedian. When I was li li really little, like a, a baby. One for me. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, pre-1. I think it was just before I was 1 they split. Oh. That's what you and I have in common. Oh, wow. There you go. There's one thing. Just two, two divorced uh, parent, children of divorced parents. With a puppy? I do have a dog, but my dog um, is, le- but, is not as aloof as yours. But she's, she's more alive. But your mom found another man. She did. She found a great did guy. Did your mom find another man? She did. Yeah. What's his name? I, I, David. <laughs> If I really just made that, he was up. nervous to say. It. Well, I mean, it's just kind of yeah, weird. I, I, to... I, 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 David, well, I, she... I just like we're giving out names. Yeah, we are. Okay, you can just make it up if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. But we're leaving so that. Raphael. Uh, we're leaving that in. Now. Let's see what you want to do again. We'll just recut that out. Yeah. What's your What's, what's your, your mom's dad, new guy's name? Name. Name. Uh, Dave. No. You... <laughs> God damn it. <Dave. laughs> He's not. It's used different. To in. It's different. What kind of breed of dog is Betty? She's, thank you for asking. She's, you uh, I did that. She's a rescue. I'm, I'm a great person, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, she, but I did the DNA test. Allegedly, according to the thing, it said she's a 50%. Do you want, do you want me to take, make guesses? Chihuahua for sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, I see some pit, maybe some strong pit. <laughs> some pit in there. Dude. Amer- maybe some American bulldog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's a Chihuahua, um, uh, have an ease right now. Chihuahua. Do you want a cl- cl- up close look? No, no, no. no it's from okay. here, it's good. Yeah, fine. I feel like nothing's gonna change. It's not yeah, a yeah. Ma- She's not a magic eye. It's yeah. just a dog. A magic eye. <laughs> I don't need to get closer to see what the image. Is. You don't know what a magic eye is? Is that those things? And then uh, you press the button and no, look up magic eye. Magic eye was a thing. It was like a scrambling of an image. And if you got closer yes. and pulled away slowly, look, there's magic eye. If you got closer and you and you pulled away, you got to see the image that was layered within that. It's actually incredible technology. Do you remember magic eye? Well, I, is that the one where you look, it's on glass and then you have to see through the glass and then the images comes 3D? I mean, I kind of just explained it seconds ago, but yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, moments that, ago. No, no, no. If we then could rewind two diff- seconds. No, I just it's said, different than what I'm talking about. No, no. If you got close and as you slowly pull away, your eyes readjust. There is an image within that image. He's thinking but is it 3D though? Well, dude, yeah. It's okay, well then, paper. because the ones, that, my mom has one. It says, I love New York. <laughs> But she doesn't want people to really know, so they have to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Her it house. says, I love New York, but it's this thing, and she doesn't realize that she just thinks it's that. Oh, that's so it, funny. It's so beautiful, the color. Or I go, no, but it's a thing. Art. It, good, good it's art. good art, right? Yeah, it is good art. And I, I stared at it, and I went away. It's, it, you see the buildings, and I love New York. She, and I go, Mom, look. And she, no, it's, no. A, it's red. It's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she doesn't. But so I, are we talking about the same thing? Well, yeah, when Asians do magic eye, how do you have to get closer, you think? Or because your eyes are strained more yeah, often than ours. Maybe well, you it's see like it longer. I need a longer panoramic. Yeah, it's a panoramic. panoramic a panoramic. <laughs> magic yeah, I need a panoramic. Panoramic. Can I ask a question? No. 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 Is, anyway, that, is that true or are you being funny? Because I'm actually curious. This guy. This is fucking. First time, last time on the show. <laughs> Can I tell you what this guy does? I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you. We love I love you too. Can I tell you? This is this guy. He like when I was eighteen, he was, he helped me get in the comedy. So it was a big deal for me. I, I'm just, he helped you get in. He helped me get in. Wow. You know, and like and he was very kind. But then like every but then in, like once every three years he comes up to me and says the sweetest kindest thing, which means the world to me because I admire you so much as a comedian. And uh, and uh, but uh, but then in between he's weird to me the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> and like and then, that's like, love. It was very but so. Uh, is, How am I to you? Um, you touch, be honest. Be honest. We don't talk, we don't talk that much, but I, you, you're always kind. I always say hi. We say hi. We have a kind exchange. What did I touch? I back. touched. What did I touch? You touch my butt a lot. Yeah, I do touch your butt a, a lot. lot. Yeah. And you've apologized for it, and then you do it again. I do it every time. Yeah. Why do you touch his butt? Got a great little tush. He does. Got do a you have great one? little tush. Yeah. Thank you. But it doesn't make you uncomfortable. But I do apologize because I go. He probably doesn't want me to touch his tush. But I do a little tip tap as I go by in the hallway yeah. because it's a nice tush. You look like you come quick. Oh yeah. You come quick. No, actually. Are you seeing? Whoa, you wait, wait, right you, you last in bed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm uncircum I'm circumcised. I mean, I'm actually circumcised. We're all, that, we're all circumcised. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, like I've talked to people about this. Isn't circumcised make it it's harder to Well, they say if you've got the sleeve, you it's more sensitive, but and you've been clipped, you have a you have a helmet. We all have a helmet, buddy. We're all we're all yeah, we got helmets. I mean, this is part of a part it's of the, war. it's war. You wait, need a helmet. It's war. Wait, a helmet? Wait, I don't understand. A helmet, what is a helmet? A helmet means you're uncircumcised, no? Circumcised, man. Circumcised means you have a helmet? Well, it doesn't look like a helmet. I mean, what does your head of your penis yeah. look like? Should I look right now? No, no, no. Is well, it... you can, yeah. Are there two parts to it? Or is this one solid You have a kit? sleeve covering up the head of your penis? <laughs> My penis is one in one piece. Let me show you something. Does your dick look like this? Or does it look like this? 
Right, I thought I'm not kidding. I thought that was the helmet because it covers it. Buddy, this this this, that, yeah. this is the helmet when it's out in the open. This yeah, is yeah. this is if you got a cloak on, you have a sleeve. <laughs> yeah. You're sleeved up. This is uncircumcised. They got sleeves. But that's not the helmet. No, it's not. I know, man. The helmet protects it from beginning hurt. It's on a. It's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. You know, you ever see Assassin's Creed? (laughs) Yeah, he's out slashing, slashing, right? Yeah. And then when he's fucking, he takes it off. Helmet. Helmet. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let this fuck. Let me just kind of just Gentiles have a helmet too It's just covered up by a hoodie So they take off the hoodie But does, aren't, aren't Jewish people just I, I, I don't know They circumcise they, they do circumcise They do a bris They do a bris they, So you're but, circumcised I am yeah. You have a helmet and, and you got brist in front of a bunch of people You got your dick snipped in front of people, right? I didn't You didn't do an, uh, an old school bris They did at the hospital What well, can, I, can I tell you something? I just I have <laughs> Carlos told me what I should do to get, to be a good guest. Yeah. Mm, oh, that's a good guy to listen to. Oh my god. <laughs> and like he's like just bring good good you're stuff. You're failing. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm failing. It's okay. No, you're doing but, great. This, it's funny you said this conversation came up. I don't want to. It doesn't. We don't have to do this. But I thought it'd be fun if we played two truths and a lie and I share things. And then uh, <laughs> I, gonna, I think it's. I think we'd have a great time. I think no, we should yeah. do it. Two truths and a lie. I think it's fun because wait, but let me just just set this up. <laughs> He thinks I'm some fucking. Uh, the more I listen to you, the more I realize you're Jewish. Yeah. By the way, you jump through conversation. Yeah. All Jewish people go, and then they say it, and then they go, and then they say it. Slow down. I'm not in a hurry. I know, we're here. When your back hurts, do you make a noise? Oi, oi. Can I tell you? Oi, oi. I sincerely started doing that. Yeah. So and ironically, I make. How old are you now? 37. Yeah, dude, yeah. For, wait till you hit 40, it gets worse. Do you it say oi when you're 40? Yeah, I, tr- I, I am Jewish. I, as soon as I hit 40, I. You turned Jewish. I turned oh, Jewish. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mazel. Uh-huh. Grazie. <laughs> uh, it's, are, you, are you single? Um, in the questionable. What is that? Oh, you're kind of in a relationship. You're seeing somebody. I've been seeing somebody. And what, 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 right. Know? Yeah. And she a comedian or? No. A lay person. Lay person. Yeah. 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 A human. Human. Yeah. And like then how would you meet her? I met her. Um, I met her at the improv many years ago. We were we connected a couple of years ago, and she was really special and stuff. And uh, <laughs> she lives in a different city. We're dealing with some stuff. Oh, where does she? Uh, what 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 state? I wanted to get specific. Uh, Georgia, Atlanta. Yeah. 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 Have you ever been not? Have you ever been into men? No. Only women. Only women. Have you tried? I haven't tried. Have you I've been, thought about it? I've been honestly, I've thought about it a lot because I've, I've been offered it tremendous amounts of times. Yeah. And I've been offered wonderful things in exchange for participating. Mm. Like what? Uh, a condo? Uh, <laughs> money. Honda Civic. <laughs> uh, going to buy him a Honda Civic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you gone a condo? I have a house. <laughs> well, that must have been a rich guy. I just have a- you think I blew somebody for the house? I thought that's what we're talking about. No, 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 no. no. I, thought I paid what? American money. Well, but the money was acquired by oh, by fucking yeah. by fucking blowing guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I blew a guy, but yeah, but that's great. The okay. only reason I ask is because uh, when I first met you, uh, I did think you were gay, and I don't mean that as an insult. No, up until I was like twenty six, people were like, "You're gay. You just don't know it yet." And somehow it just stopped. Like, it stopped complete abruptly. People cut it out. Yeah, but it just, I don't know, I did America's Got Talent when I was like 27 or whatever. Like, it just became- You were fantastic on that show, by the way. Oh, thank you. I do remember seeing you doing that and thinking, oh, this is like him proving himself nationally because you're quite young on the show. Thank you. Wait, 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 let me ask you something. I got you in the comedy store before that show? That was like 10 years before, buddy. I did that. You ha- you and Maz and John Caprulo. Yeah, but let's just give him the credit, not those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I give all the credit to you. <laughs> Interesting. But you helped me get like Mitzi watched me. And- oh, really? You look great. I- Good looking yeah. kid. Who's that woman? Heidi-, Heidi Klum. Oh, great. I've kissed her on the mouth. Isn't that, it didn't that feel weird with a fucking Nazi sitting next to you? Did that not fuck up your ancestors? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you did kiss her. Look at her. Oh my God. No, well- but you can be, there's a real mouth kiss one there somewhere. Oh, wow. You wow. kissed her a bunch. Yeah. Now, what was this about? Yeah, what's that? And there's Ginger. I know Ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. What's this about with you and Heidi Klum? Did you yeah. have a thing, dude? Uh, you know, we just you kiss a lady and uh, no, 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 no. You, know? you don't just kiss a fucking on-air personality without a backstory. She's uh, so I, on the show we had a whole thing and like she was mean to me and, mm-hmm. and then I got her to like me and then like now like almost ten years later people come up to me and they go, "How's Heidi doing?" And like it's like a shtick. Was know? there? Yeah, I know it's she, a shtick. I bought a house off of uh, goofing with Heidi. You know. Are you asking if I made love to her? No, dude, I'm not. But a-, a house off of the 
AGT money? Yeah. I mean, also, How? like, like. What do you mean? I'm very talented, and I. No, I know. I, we get it. That's why you're on the show, dude. Don't do that. I'm very confused. You're, 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 listen, you're on the show for because a we for a reason. We see you around. You don't have to do that. All right. So what I'm asking you is, did you buy a house based on the money that you got from AGT? Yeah. Wow. So how much do you get for AGT? Touring and stuff. Touring. Oh. He's saying from this career. Oh, okay. After. Well, then that's not the same. <laughs> but well, what I they pay, they pay zero. Carlos, yeah, they pay no money. Carlos, you didn't tell me what to do when this happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Just get but racist. wait a minute. They. But what I really want to know, you're skipping through it. So you and Heidi had. The, I know this is a shtick, but also you're kissing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so she came. Listen, she came out to me at the after the finale. The whole like I'm very lucky that I got to have like a, on these competition reality shows. You don't get to have a storyline. It's just performance and feedback. I got to have a storyline throughout the season because of what was the storyline it was just a sent i'll tell you some stuff so uh, he beat homosexuality <laughs> <laughs> yeah when i was young they all thought i was gay yeah can i tell you my heidi get over here give me a kiss this was the definitive proof this is when i actually shifted gears interesting i go guy's not gay so th 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 on my season there was Two opera singers who their story was we're gay and our parents don't love us, but we're still going to sing for our family. You know? yeah, yeah. Everyone has the storylines. I was like, I got bullied. Let's talk about it. And they were just like, you're you're a cute comedian and you want to pay your bills. And I was yeah, like, you're cute. That's fine. Ugh. You don't need something deep. You're cute and you're and you're fine. You grew up healthy, right? Yeah. You didn't have crazy shit. So you, happen. Didn't, you, so you didn't have that storyline like I was bullied and stuff. Well, I meant I tried. I tried to say yeah. I got bullied. Yeah. Like I was like, let me give you. I, but everybody got bullied. So it never really worked. He got bullied. I got bullied. These two yeah, guys you wanna... definitely got got bullied <laughs> i don't think anybody in our business didn't get bullied in fact the more i hear stories jennifer fucking lawrence is probably like oh they made fun of me when i was young yeah i, I think even like hot people in our business were bullied everybody was kind of bullied because you would have to be a kind of person to think that you're going to make people feel entertained for a living i mean i believe be that a little loon a little loony yeah. i believe bull bullying is for me and i i, I don't endorse bullying i do I know you do, but keep, um, keep, keep on bullying. Yeah, baby. but I believe that without the bullying, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. It pushed me. It's like every time I'm in a situation where someone says no or I get fucked over or this and that, my whole thinking is, I'll show you. I, I, I use it as energy. I'll show you. He dude, he does that. <laughs> it's like revenge almost. Like right? Marvel wrote movies just about Bobby. Yeah, got, well, I'm Korean. I think Koreans. We love revenge movies. <laughs> Everybody likes revenge. I know, but- So do the Spanish. But, but Koreans, their movies, the theme, revenge is always a thing. Well, because of the history. Yeah. Like fucking Old Boy is revenge. You yeah, know what I mean? It's a great movie. Yeah. So my point is- Gives you a thick skin. Who and won your yeah. season? Uh, this guy, Kenichi, Japanese. Oh, we love Kenichi. Did we have him on the show? Can we get him on the show? <laughs> yeah, you know who I love? Kenichi and I like Wa. Oh, Kenichi really? yeah. and Wa, dude. Uh, very good. Kenichi Wa is great, dude. T together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kenichi the magician. Uh, no, the, that guy won. Yeah, he's like but a, that guy's the best. He's amazing. Have you seen uh, the head uh, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw it. He's great. Clip. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, but once you see it, once you've seen it, you know. <laughs> yeah, but can yeah. you take your? You're head writing off your... new jokes. Yeah. It's like once you've seen the head go down. He's well, taking his head off his fucking torso. It's not coming off. I checked it out. That's it, real, dude. It's a rig, dude. No, it's not, dude. It's he's taking his fucking head off his torso. That's fucking big. So this guy, this guy won. Look at that. This guy won. Now he's an act in Vegas, I imagine. He's in Japan. He lives in Japan. In Jap Japan, Vegas. Yeah. yeah. He, he made a lot of money like doing private. Like his. The thing with the dancers, you can only do seven minutes before you go. Ah, ah, ah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't do an hour show. In Japan, but... every other person can do that. It's not even a big deal when he's in Japan. Did I had a guy? He goes what? and the other yeah. goes. I can do it too, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, they. They. I, they, they. I do think the whole goal used to be right getting in a Vegas show, right? Wasn't that the whole thing? Um, to get a residency in Vegas, Shin Lim did it. Yeah, he, he he's won. still there. He's our boy. Yeah, Shin Lim did it. He came on the show. Oh yeah, gave us some magic, and I got to tell you, enjoying you much more. Oh, wow, much much more. Also, yeah. we have a rapport, so it's different. Wow, mm. thanks. I'll t I love my favorite compliments are like I like you better than whoever. Oh, I could say that about you about so many more people. Please. Well, don't let me get started. The list will never end. Morgan and Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> I'm in a car accident. Ow. Oh, I do. oh my God. You got to call Morgan and Morgan. 35% of all fatal accidents occur between 6 p.m. and midnight. A lot of people driving at night don't know what to do when they get in a little fender bender, a little bumper rumper, and you got to call Morgan and Morgan. What is it? Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers, guys. Here's the best part about this. $15 billion oh with a B. 
15 Holy. billion dollars recovered for over 300,000 clients. Morgan and Morgan has that track record. They're going to get you full and fair compensation. I got into an accident in my own neighborhood. I wish Morgan and Morgan was on uh, my radar. I didn't know about them years ago. And thank God I do now because they've been fighting for the people for over 35 years. And I'm glad that I was put on to Morgan and Morgan because submitting an injury claim to them is so simple and easy. If baby. you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com com slash bad friends or dial pound law pound five two nine from your cell phone that's for the people for the people.com slash bad friends or pound law pound five two nine from your cell there's a paid advertisement buffy buffy, buffy uh, the best gift you've ever given me was a buffy comforter that's exactly right you know why it's mm. breezy dude it's breezy, baby. Buffy makes award-winning bedding that's soft on you and soft on the earth. They use innovative design and earth-friendly materials to make bedding softer, safer, and better for our planet. The Breeze Sheet Guy is soft and cool, gentle on skin, and made to last. It's made from eucalyptus for extra softness. It's dyed with botanic ingredients like rose and gardenia, which are safer on the skin than conventional dyes. Architectural Digest 2022 Clever Award winner. The Breeze Sheet is a, is a sheet set that keeps you cool. Look, we We've got Buffy's at our house. Thanks to Buffy. Thank you so very much. And uh, Buffy makes probably some of the softest, most comfortable bedding that I think I've ever slept on in my stupid life. Buffy offers a free seven night at home trial so you can experience Buffy before committing to buying it. Shipping is free. Customers also enjoy 100 night free returns policy. For 25% off your Buffy order, visit Buffy.co and enter bad friends at checkout. You heard it right. That's Buffy.co with code bad friends for 25% off your Buffy order. Can I ask you? Yeah. I don't want to be mean. Oh. What would you do? <laughs> my hair? No, I just, you know. You're talking about asking about my hair. Are you make, doing his, are you going his face? No, You're not like his face? It, uh, oh, his hair? What am I doing like, with my make, hair? Like, fucking make a decision, you know. <laughs> like, commit to we don't, Either do, no, not or yes. Yes or no, but don't do this. Don't what are you trying to say, man? You're trying to say I have thinning hair and. No, I'm just saying, what, what are you doing? Have What's you up? What's up? Have you asked Happy me? Thanksgiving. I'm on a happy Thanksgiving. That's how I do it in Korea. What, 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 what are you trying to say? Why don't you hash it out? No, I love you, and Bobby, you know, I mean, you. thanks for thanks for being here. Listen, I got bullied as a kid, so I have thick skin. I can I can handle. He can it. take it. Yeah. Please ask me a direct question. I got you. Go direct if you're gonna ask. Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is that um, <laughs> no. just let me try. <laughs> I just what? Nothing. I just I feel you trying to load up. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to load up. <laughs> You know, it's like when I see a Q-tip, <laughs> right? You know, it's either I want because sometimes I take the the what's it the cotton, cotton off. off, yeah. It hits the you know, it hits parts of my ear differently, right? This I don't is, think Q-tip is the right analogy. This is but insane. <laughs> what you just everything that you just you know, I'm supposed to put, put Q-tips in your ear, by the way. I know, isn't that funny? And you're saying you take off the safety he, part. He, he tickles the inside of his ear. I tickle. The, yeah, I do. You put the wire. Yeah. The 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 the. the the hardened paper part, the stick, he puts the that stick in part. his ear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had him on the bus. He did, yeah, loved let's, it. Let's pass. Yeah. Pass on that. Yeah. What I'm saying is, it's just what you're doing right now is it's balding, right? But you have a few hairs and you're just trying to like. Does it bother you? It, it wasn't until I saw it now. And there's like a little, you know, the you know, the in the Bible that sees. The parting of the Red that's, Sea. That's the one I'm. So you're Moses. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh. happening, and it's kind of distracting me a little bit. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just wondering why. You're going to put your your. Don't, please don't be mean. What you what what? Please don't be. You mean. can let him defend himself. I'm not defending. Him. I'm so, I'm sorry that it's. I, I, no, I'm I, asking I want, you. I want you to be comfy. I'm so comfortable. No, you said it's making you uncomfortable. For a second, I was just kind of wanted to ask you a question. That's not really. You know, I can I can live with it. Do you want me to turn around? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want you to turn around. But I'll, I, no, I love, dude. You know I love you, dude. I'm, I'm just I'm because I've been I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah. And I go and I go. That's you know, because what Carlos is doing, he's like full. Have you yeah. seen Carlos without his hat? How long have you known Carlos? Have you? Do you go back? I've known him probably like 15 years or something. So yeah, Carlos, yeah, yeah. this is this is we've talked about this. So you know, this show. is uh, you know, this is how he gets laid. He's the man. Yeah. You don't like that? He's beautiful. No, but, the hair. But his hair isn't like. that. I would have fucked him before I was 26. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Phil Heidi Klum got a hold of you. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. I'm happy to talk. No, I don't. I don't need to. Was that uh, uh, inappropriate? No, it's. I need. I can. Well, tell can you, you ask? Why? Why don't, uh, you didn't want to ask? No, not really. I mean, it didn't hit me. I. I don't really look at Does it. Does it hit hair. you now, though? Look well, at it now. Well, now that you've made it uncomfortable that you've mentioned it. Yeah. 
No, I'm still not thinking. About it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on my mind even a little bit. Okay. I think it looks good. I, I, you know what? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. But I, I mean. But as someone who has so much hair like you, I get that you look at other people's hair and you judge everyone because you have such long, luscious hair. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah. What? What the fuck? Am, am I not wrong? What I'm doing? Am I wrong? Uh, you're right. You have long, luscious hair. You see other people's hair. You immediately mock them. You're a bully. You have, I was going to say, this is a bully. Because, <laughs> because when I, one time I was looking at this guy. It's funny because you are being a bully, actually. And here's why. Because <laughs> I, was, I was talking to this guy once and I was looking down in his hairline. And it was like, he has the thicker hair. And while I was actively thinking, oh, my God, you have so much hair. He looks at me, up at me, and goes, you're so tall. Oh, right. It's funny how normal, healthy people, we see... Kind people, I'm sorry. We we see <laughs> what we wish we had, and we we had that someone else has. But you go, I have all of it, and you have none. That is what he does. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I'm doing? Yeah. You know what? Can I say something? Take your thank beanie. Take your beanie off now, okay. just to show him how much nice hair you have. I know. I mean, th it's thank you. Oh I mean, that's, like, that's like forty grand a hair right there. Thank you. Thank you. At least. Yeah. I did, thank you uh, I did for consultation. You you shown a light. At my frailties and yeah. my character defects, yeah. yeah, and I want to, I want to apologize deeply. No, I love you. No, no, I'm just saying this, okay. Yeah. And you know what? God forsaken, <laughs> and God bless you. <laughs> okay, I, I, this I looks like a scene. Me. This looks like a scene from Old Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, you've given me deliverance. <laughs> I, I, you have, and I've, I've, I've seen the errors of my ways. And I will correct myself. It's very nice. I apologize. Listen, we're all evolving and we're all doing the best we can yeah, with what yeah. we were given. And I yeah. appreciate this exchange. And Does the dog sleep in bed with you? Yeah. Really? I was not going to be that person. Is that a point of contention with the person that you're dating? No, it's honestly, it's wild. Like who I am. Like, have you told me at 37, I'm going to be the guy with the tiny dog. I take places unironically. I'd be like, what the fuck happened? To no, me? there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We love, this is animal friendly room here. We I'm love so animals. Comfy. Though. My girlfriend's so comfy. She has a dog in the bed. Too. It's, it's In Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I just get scared of rolling over on my dog. That's what I get fucked up about because yeah. I'm, I'm a big, well, bigger heavy, guy. Well, I'm just a, all right. Not fat. I'm just making fun of his hair and I'm fat now. What no, 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 no. You want to knock taller. out everybody you're in the room? <laughs> what? Knock out everybody <laughs> in the room. Yeah, man, I'm having trouble right now. I got high cholesterol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it, man. I'm on fucking. What am I on? Oh, you gain weight. You gain weight. I did. What am I on right now? My cholesterol medication. What's it called? Ozempic. No, I'm on Levitra. Oh. Uh, Is that what it's called? No, <laughs> no Lipitor. Levitra's the boner pill. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on Lipitor. I'm on Lipitor. This is my new thing. Honestly, it's pissing me off. Why am I taking this? My cholesterol, I did get a little fat. I got a little Does pudgy. it affect you any when you take Lipitor? Uh, I mean, not really. What are the side effects? I mean, maybe let's see if I got any of those because I just started fucking taking it. Anger. Uh, anger? Hunger? Are you saying hunger? <laughs> no, anger. Nice try, bitch. <laughs> Diarrhea, normal. Joint pain, normal. Headache, get real. Stuffy or runny nose. Appetite increase, nausea, constipation. So this is normal shit. This is basically they gave someone a placebo. They said all these things that usually happen to regular people. They have to write it down in the book as possible side effects. So no, I haven't had any of this stuff. The only thing I have had, I'm not gonna lie, when it first when I first started taking it is um, the moment I would eat, and I mean the moment food would be like if you know in the cartoon when it like splashes in your belly. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you feel like go down your throat, splash in your belly. My body immediately was like, get it out. <laughs> get it out I'd have to go right to the bathroom Whoa. but it wasn't nasty it just had to come out it, it, you know what it was it was like the train got in the station the other train needed to leave mm. can I tell you something no joke my dog has that <laughs> your, is your dog on Lipitor <laughs> no, like, like after she eats she has this look of like uh oh gotta go <laughs> yeah yeah I gotta go yeah. Mm. yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's not, it is, honestly, it's not, it's not gross. It's just one train's got to go for the other one to get back in the station. You know what it is? It's, it's a Jewish thing. I know, I'm Jewish. I know, right, you, dude. You became Jewish. She's Jewish. Yeah, dude, my wife is Jewish. I get it, dude. You, Jewish. I know. I, she is Jewish. Bob's the only one that's not Jewish in this room. Yeah. Not Jewish. No. By the way, let's congratulate right now. Speaking of dogs. <laughs> South Korea unveils its plan to ban dog meat by 2027. What are you, why so long? Well, you gotta get five get, years. Let it catch up. Yeah, they got freezers full of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, imagine like dogs in cages like five years. How are we gonna make it? No, they're not gonna make it. They, they got fucked. No, five years. What do you mean? It's 2027. Yeah, they have to phase it out, buddy. It's 2024 it and an inch. It, tomorrow's 2024. Right, so th three years. Three years. It's not that bad. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, that's what. What's so funny? Oh god. Math, math, math. An Asian who's bad at math. I didn't say that. It's just nuts. It's nuts. 
fucking is it's crazy. Like, it's, it's rude. Crazy. It's like a, it's like when a black guy can't play basketball. You're like, yeah. what's going? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't you know. Can't even shoot. I don't know much. Korea unveils that plan to ban the dog. But see, those dogs right there waiting to get eaten. They might. Well, one of them. They're might fucked. Make They're fucked. Yeah, that's a dog meat farm. Yeah. Stop this saying. is a dog meat farm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I know. Like Zoom in on who wrote the article. Minju Kim. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Minju, I hope you saved some of those dogs when you got that nice photo of them. Bob, by, by the way, that zoom in on Minju Kim. That looks like Bobby in a wig. <laughs> That's a, is that not you? That's yeah, that insane. Is, that That's is, you. God, I feel so bad for those dogs, man. This is what's crazy because we're dog. We're a big dog show over here. Yeah. Everybody in here has pets. Uh, uh, well, except Carlos. Did your dog die yet? No. No. He's alive. I know you told me I have to give him to Bobby if I fuck up again. So. Did you fuck up again? No, I didn't. So I'm just I'm holding. I have him on Bobby. on uh, what is it called? He's on probation because he fucked up when he first got a dog. We we're all supportive. And then he fucked up. What'd you do? I just messed up a, a an airport pickup for Bobby. Mm hmm. Does it involve the dog? No, not at all. Oh, I don't care. Well, I thought you were gonna say that he like injured his dog. No, he has done dumb shit with the dog. He's left the dog. He's left the dog places. He's put. He left it in a jeep for four hours, <laughs> without the AC on or really? anything. Really, Carlos? No, not really. Okay. Bobby, <laughs> was, Bobby was actually mad. Oh I know. God. I liked it. Oh my god. No, but we did say if if we find out that he's not. Uh, behaving correctly with the dog, like if he's le doing dumb shit, like yeah. not feeding it and forgetting about it, leaving it places, we're removing the dog from him. I love. That. I think everyone should have to. Do yeah, that. you have to re hold responsibility for your. Oh, you're, so, you're so talented. Thank you. I'm the second most talented person in America. Like literally. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. But I'm just saying, you're very talented. And Thank you. That means a lot. You know, many. T you know, I think the times where I made fun of you and stuff. I never made fun of you. No. Yeah, but the times I make fun of you is I was trying to, um, because a lot of times you, you, you just, you know, at, you know, at the comedy clubs. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just like, this is what, you know what I mean? It's you're like, very inside yourself. Yeah. Which I think is why I tap you on the tush, just yeah. to scare you a little bit. Like you turn into Kramer when I tap you on the butt. <laughs> and then I we think it's just to shock you yeah. because you're, you look so like. But we've also talked about things that are going wrong. You always come up to me with things that are going wrong and things aren't happening. What's That's going wrong right now? Yes, you have. I have once, but do you want to- That's know, what I'm saying. Do you want to know the advice you gave me? Okay, yeah, go ahead. This is what Bob, this is Bobby Lee's career advice mm -hmm. from a few years ago, right before COVID. I was like, I'm really stressed, I'm it's hard, I'm whatever, things didn't work out, some some pilots, whatever. And I'm, I don't know what to do, I feel like a dead end. And he goes, sincerely and loving, like no shtick, like he cares. I know you care about me even so much. He gave me his heartfelt advice. He says, Taylor, stop trying to do anything stop mm. hustling stop pushing yourself because when i stopped doing those things that's when everything happened for me huh. and he gave me examples of his famous friends who have helped him because he's very talented they've known him for many years and i'm just like bobby i think this is not good advice i don't think it's good it is good no i think it's a I, it's very good i think stop <laughs> trying to do everything no last anything. night no uh, okay can i say this? stop doing anything but i hear how it works for you and i respect no, 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 I'll, yeah. and i'll do respect may i talk with all due respect, okay? Do less. Am I, what, I'm doing too do much? Less. Do less. Go less? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't hit him so hard. Uh, you're right. He's here. He's brand right, new. Because yeah. he'll keep uh, striking. Okay, okay you're right. Because he's really <laughs> ripping me apart right now. I know. Well, relax. Not at all. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've attacked me a couple times. I don't find that to be true. I find the opposite to be true. Honestly. I got to tell you, okay. if we put up an attack board, I think it's tied. It's got to be two to two. It's two to tell two. me one time two I've two attacked right this gentleman. Well, look, you just pointed at him. Yeah. That was rude. I uh, there, did it again. <laughs> you keep doing it. Sorry. The three, four. <laughs> this is classic. Five. This, I don't like. He doesn't like that. Yeah, this, this is, is like, diminutive. Yeah, this yeah, is rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took Japanese classes. This is rude, but this is polite. No, this oh. is like, here's and some food. And you speak Japanese? Goshi. Oh, Goshi. Goshi, Goshi. And Poco. Let me hear if I, do a sentence. Let me hear if I can translate it. Uh, Ogenki desu ka? Ogenki desu ka means uh, 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 good day. Not not too far. Yeah. How, how, are, how are you? you? How are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. People say for how are you or good day. It's kind of the same thing. Oh. No, I know this is a fact. It, it's the same way we say what's up. We're not really asking you what's up. Yeah. It's like what's up is like saying, hey, how's it going? Or what? It, it means you 50 things. You have an Asian fetish. <laughs> Me? No. Are you putting pieces down? No. You have an Asian fetish. Of course he does. I fit the... I, you know, it, let you me thought have, his girlfriend was white? In Atlanta. Are you the, out of your... Is your girlfriend white? No. no. What is she? She's uh, Asian. She's half Filipina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay. You want to learn the language, huh? Well, I get mean, in, I can... get into their minds. Can you get in their mind? You get in their pants. Yeah. She doesn't speak Japanese. It doesn't matter. How much do you weigh? <laughs> That's what you want. That's your ultimate goal. I think I'm 165. -ish. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, anybody under 170, a white guy under 170 who's tall cannot date a white girl. Mm. Life. They all like Asians. Any yeah. tall, you're listening right now. If you're a tall white guy, I'll tell you. I six. Yeah, see? Any guy that's over 5'10", that's less than 170 pounds, 100% has an Asian girlfriend or wife. Small vaginas, long udon-like penis. <laughs> she does not have a long udon-like penis. None of you. No, you do. He's oh, saying yes. you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know she doesn't. Yes. Yeah. But you've seen it, though. Your penis? Can I tell you what? <laughs> too many thoughts right now. But are we flirting right now? No, I'm not flirting. No, I'm no. I'm just coming to revelations. So, but so I can. I, I fit this. I fit all the check marks, but I can tell you why I study Japanese, and it's like it ruins it. No, no. Well, I, you don't. You don't. I'm gonna calm down. I'll let you fit. No, I'm gonna calm down. I like it. I don't, right, I don't I'm, I'm, take, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to calm down. I don't want to take away your saying. You're calm. not taking. You're not taking away anything, my friend. All right, touche. Okay, but what I'm gonna say is. Yeah. Is. <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay, well, I'm just trying to be calm be and calm. in the pocket because he gets me all rolled up. I know he gets you jazzed up. What I want to say is, <laughs> I don't need to know the reason because yeah. I already know the okay. reason. That's right. You understand? I understand. Right. I do too. I've been to countries yeah. and I've seen dudes like you. Yeah. Expats. <laughs> like you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you have that energy. It's fine. Have you been to yeah. Singapore or Malaysia? No. Not. You've never been to Asia. Thailand. Japan. You've been. Oh, you just went to, to Japan. Japan. How long? Well, when he was on the hunt. Whatever. That's where you hunt. Uh, once, once a year, looking. you go on a yeah. hunting trip with your buddies. He goes on the street. Oh, yeah. Your white buddies. <laughs> yeah. We're here. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> yeah. And what'd you say? What was the first thing? Mugu oh. guy pan? Close. is o genki desu ka. O genki desu ka. O desu ka. What does that mean? It means how are you? How are you? Uh, That's what, him what, yelling from the what's rooftop. What's vagina in Japanese? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Well, we can Google it. I don't. It, we, you really don't? I don't know. Oh. Magin. <laughs> Chitsu. Chitsu. On this topic, so I asked him if I could do the podcast. I texted him. He didn't write back. Yeah. And uh, I don't I understand that's your style, and I understand. So I didn't take it personally. But then I saw you in the hallway, and you're like, "I know you asked me to do my podcast. I don't know if you can handle it, man." And I'm like, "I think I can." And then and then on this topic, he goes, "I'm gonna ask you questions you can't handle." I'm like, "I don't know." He's like, and he goes, "I'm gonna ask you like, do you eat, do you lick pussy?" And I was like, "I think I can answer that." <laughs> do you? Yeah. That's a pretty easy answer. You think he loves it? He does. He, do, he well, Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I feel like he gets nervous, though. Do you get nervous when you're down there? You know what's fun about this interview is I don't have to be here. You know all the answers already. Yeah, kind oh, of. Right, right. Like his out. hands are shaking. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm passionate. Anyway, so let's I'm go back fan. to what I was going to say yeah, about yeah. my advice. I hear you, but I've, for, I've done like 20 years of, of uh, just being really, working really hard on my stand up and uh, being funny. And then I got on your show because I asked, you know? And like I have a special, yeah, so actually, out. I have a special coming. Worked. I have a special coming out because I, I self financed it, and made it myself. And what's it called? Uh, Live at the Comedy Store. <laughs> Creative. Hanukkah release. We're doing a Hanukkah release. Oh, that's good, dude. That's great. Yeah. So you released the special in twelve parts. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun to do. <laughs> it's eight, but that's funny. Eight, but twelve is good. You know what 12, I mean? Twelve is a better. You it's know what? a better number. We could have because Jews are back. Make it know? a dozen. Let's make it. Let's change, it's Hanukkah the twelve nights because the oppression we're experiencing. <laughs> I like this more presents. But yeah, so it's live at the comedy store. It's a it's a special. My best jokes I've ever told, and I'm so proud of it. And, Fuck yeah! Uh, uh, is your first special? Uh, second. Second special. Yeah. But the first one. This did you? You didn't self finance the first one. No, no, no. Other people financed it. Yeah. It this is out of experience. your pocket. Yeah, it's like very freeing. Like. Dr. Dr. Swatch. Swatch. Let me tell you something, Andrew. Um, so I go to, I valet my car a lot. You always valet your car. Right. And the valet guy at the Wee Spa said, dude, why do you, you always smell so nice. And you do. And I go, Dr. Squatch. <laughs> Dr. Squatch, baby. Dr. Squatch is so good. It's high performance natural <laughs> products. This is 98% natural soap. 98. You're never going to find this anywhere else. B Corp certified. No harmful ingredients. It's having you uh, look and smell and feel your best. I got this, uh, the Birchwood Breeze. Bobby mm. loves the pine tar. That's his favorite. Yeah. It smells so good on your skin. It's smooth. And by the way, knowing that it's, that it's natural, doesn't that mm. make you feel good? I do, but the scents are very... Uh, Amazing. It's cool, fresh aloe soap. Delicious. Mm. Pa pine tar, fresh fall soap, bay rum soap I like when well, I'm out going to my rave. You're sober, so you should Wood barrel have. bourbon soap is when I go to the casino. That's right. Casino. And, the, and the Birchwood Breeze, baby. And I got to tell you, this, this is the best holiday gift. It's a great stocking stuffer. It's nice and small and compact. Or treat yourself. You know, do whatever you got to do. Buy three soaps uh, and get three soaps for free. $28 in savings, like getting each bar for $4. Offer valid and new customers only and free shipping, my friends. So right now, Dr. Squatch is offering our listeners huge savings. 
all new customers will get three free bar soaps plus free shipping with any purchase of three bars. Just go to drsquatch.com slash badfriends to receive this buy three, get three offer. That's drsquatch.com, D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H.com slash badfriends to buy three soaps and get three free. It's time to get all the daily routine essentials you'll need to start feeling good and smelling like a man today. Zoc Doc. Ooh, man, sometimes, you know, you stub your toe and you're like, gosh, it really what actually I, hurts more than I what thought. What do I do? Where do I go? Well, you go to ZocDoc, my friend. That's right. If you're on the hunt for a doctor in your neighborhood, whether you're new to that area, you've been there for a long time, and you just go, I don't know where to turn to. Nobody wants to give me a good recommendation. ZocDoc's got your back, my friend. I mean, you do it with food and restaurants, right? Why not a doctor? You read reviews. Yes. You can check people out. I mean, have you... Ever been a hunt for a new doctor, Andrew? I'm not all the time. And you ask literally everyone you know for their reco? Please tell me. Yeah. You know a doctor who actually gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable? Mm-hmm. Well, that's why you need ZocDoc. You got to get ZocDoc. You're using your phone and apps on your phone for almost every piece of your life today. Why wouldn't you try ZocDoc now? So, well, I'll, I'll tell you what, Zoc, ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance or located near you and treat almost any condition you're searching for. I've used ZocDoc personally and it's actually wonderful. I used it late at night uh, one time when I couldn't get a hold of my own doctor and I was connected to someone very, very quickly. Uh, ZocDoc is great in just 24 to 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments if you're lucky. Go to ZocDoc.com slash bad friends and download the ZocDoc app for free. Uh, then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc. Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash bad friends. ZocDoc dot com slash bad, bad friends. friends. I want to know more about you instead of, <laughs> instead of this father. I yeah, want yeah, the yeah. fans to know more about When's the first time you fucked? I say 20. Will you say but, 20, but it wasn't? Whatever. A uh, fucked fucked is 21. Then why 20? I, I got on crack. Well, why I, 20? I did a little bit of something when I was 20, you know? Like you dipped it in? Yeah, yeah, one of those deals. Yeah. You well, a little bit, huh? What is it called? Let it soak. You let it you, soak. You soaked it I in. Didn't even, I just did like, it was just like, and she was like, all the, every woman I've ever, by the way, like every woman I've ever dated like has been like, or hooked up with whatever has been like, uh, uh, condom, I don't need it. Like all the stereotype of a man is like guys are like, oh, I don't, want, oh, I forgot it. We don't need it. Right. <laughs> Every woman I've ever, you know, you know that. No, well, you know no, what, no I don't know what you, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Well, Go here's ahead. why he look. <laughs> I don't know what you're. If I'm a girl, you look clean. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, if I was I, a woman, I, I, I'd be like, no, this guy's fine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, also, I wouldn't be afraid of you getting me pregnant. Yeah. I figured, you know, like you... Decent genetics? Like... No, 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 no. I feel like they would be... Um, Just really they, They're swimmers. Relax, relax. But they're not going the right direction. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're going back in. Do you think I'm infertile or just... No, 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 no. You have a lot of sperm, but they go back into your penis. Okay. And all you get is the liquid part. Okay. Yeah, but they're back in. I think they get nervous. They get out there and they're like, oh, no. Yeah. And they go right back. Yeah. Thank you. They get a little... I think they get a little tepid. I, I, I also think that your testicles are cozy. Oh, yeah, you have like such a cozy warm testicle. balls. Yeah, yeah, warm, warm balls. Yeah, let's, I love this. They yeah, whatever the opposite of bullying is. Jebediah, let's go back. I don't know what their names what's are, the but bigger, like, what's the bigger? <laughs> yeah, what's the bigger testicle, right or left? I don't know. Are they different sizes? They sure are. One hangs lower for sure. I yeah. just learned they moved like recently. They go wherever they want recently. Yeah. You know, we were never in cold weather. But I mean, like you can hold them, and then they 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 like they're kind of like uh, what are those Mexican jumping beans. Kind of, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Carlos. <laughs> Sorry. No, but that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank you. Andrew. Sorry. Respect. Thanks. It's by the way. Somehow Mexican jumping beans is sounds so racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it not what they're called? It just I, sounds like something Trump said. Yeah. It does. I was at the airport. They're Mexican jumping beans, <laughs> right over the wall. <laughs> over the wall they go. Yeah. Bing bang bing. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican jumping, jumping beans. beans. All right. But is that not what they're called? No, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. I was at the airport in Tucson, and they had them for sale. I haven't seen those in like twenty years. So it's like well, what's the they, Yeah, they probably got rid of them for. Well, a while. What, there are little insects in the bean, right? Yeah, yeah and they're trying to get out. Yeah, yeah they're, being, they're, that's di- they're, they're, they're slowly dying. They're yeah. tortured animals. It's like sea monkeys. They're just like creatures you're torturing. Well, what what creatures are we okay with torturing then? I guess let's make a standard. Well, I don't like this, but lobsters. People are down for just like, it's like. People. Dude, do you know about lobsters though? Yeah. They're evil. 
They're, oh, yeah, they're yeah. they're satanic. I didn't. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. They their claws. Uh, fucking this is what they're doing the whole time. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they're doing this, and then they're like molesting crabs. Six, 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 six. That's how they. They fondle the crab. The crabs are like, dude, they're victims, dude. Yeah. But someone hurt. It's not, it doesn't make it okay. But someone hurt. Hurt people hurt. Someone did that to them, and now they do it to, to others. The, to the lobster? Who yeah. did it to the lobster? I don't know. But I don't know. Squids? Oh yeah, those Maybe fucking dickheads. Those fucking assholes. You know who we like the least on this show? Dolphins. Dolphins can fuck right off. Perverts. Yeah. Pigs. They're pigs. You know, honestly, do you like dolphins? No. Be real. Do I? I mean, I, do, I would, like, if you're in the ocean, you saw a dolphin next to you. What would you do? In the ocean, I would be scared, honestly, if I saw a dolphin <laughs> next to you. If, <laughs> I, if I'm in the ocean and- not going to do anything to you. Yeah, yeah. What are you scared? I don't want- I'd be like, is that a dolphin or a shark, first well, of all? Well, he just told you it's a dolphin. Well, yeah, the yeah, dolphin's yeah. like, don't worry, I'm a dolphin, bro. I'll be like- he, They don't say that. They don't say that. So then they I- go, <laughs> And then they start yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they just chilling next to you, like, so you can get a good look? They'll swim by you. I don't know they're chilling. They're not like- <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to be next to a yeah. dolphin in the water. But if I'm in like if I was recently at a friend's house who's doing well for himself and he has a house by the beach and I, we saw dolphins in Daniel room. Tosh, we get it. Oh yeah, Danny. Yeah, you know Danny yeah. from Florida. Yeah. yeah. Danny from Florida? That's what we call him. You call Daniel Tosh Daniel from Danny from yeah. Florida? So you went to Danny's house? Is that Danny from Florida? From Tor Florida's house? <laughs> when he calls into radio shows, that's the, that's what he calls. Okay, so you went Danny, to his house. Danny no, from Florida. I was at a friend Max's house. And, uh, but Max has money and he lives on the beach in Malibu. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's cool, man. It's great. But the but the problem though is that uh, in like ten years the house is gonna be gone and you Who can't cares? sell it. We'll Who be cares? dead in ten it years. Will be ten years. Oh, good. I didn't know that. Did you not hear Joe Biden address the country yesterday? What did he say? We'll be dead in ten years. That's a, he was like, well, we're gonna be dead, uh. dead ten years. The margin is gonna fall, fall, fall apart. So. You say I'm gonna be dead in two years, or I couldn't make it out what he was saying, but I did think he was saying the world's over. Uh, did you translate any of that stuff? No, but he did mention something about Taylor too. Did about really? ta about this Taylor? Yeah, Biden. What did he say? No, he said that we're all gonna die, but specifically Taylor Williams. <laughs> yeah, that's all fucked up. Do you see the picture of his cake on fire? Did you see that oh, photo? Yeah. Well, no. Did you see oh, let me see it. Let me see it. This is classic Joe Biden. This is this is our president. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. 81 candles. It's on fire. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not. Happy birthday, Joe. You're on fucking fire. Should I blow these out? <laughs> I no, know. dude. You'll die. That's a, that's really, that's like a joke. Why is, how is that real? Here's the problem with this guy. Yeah. He, so many. I could go on for hours. He's really genuinely so unaware. It's not even his fault anymore. They're parading this guy around like fucking, uh, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, genuinely- they're parading this guy around that, and he has no clue what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Like they literally posed him for that, but they put his arms like that. He's like Gumby. You think he was posed like that? A hundred percent. I bet my life on it. No. That's so he doesn't fall. You know, or, the, this guy, the earth is spinning fast for this guy. But when you put your arms out like that, the candles were probably normal and he could have done that with his dark Brandon. Oh, wow. Laser eyes. <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's cool if that's true, honestly. Now, have you ever met a lizard person, a p politician of any sort of strength or power? Have you ever been in in uh, in a room with any lizard people? Not not lizard people. I've done some USO tours, so I've met like the chairman, the joint chief of staff. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty good. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, close. I spent Fourth of July with General Milley. Whoa, Milley Bobby Brown. Yeah. From, when did she get generalized? From Stranger Things. No, no. I didn't know she got generalized. Congrats, Millie Bobby Brown. Was, is he nice, General Millie? He's so badass and cool. I think he's a Massachusetts guy. Is that him right there? He's a. Yeah. It, and That's a badass dude. And he's like, Trump, like, he's famous because Trump. We, we're not supposed to know who these people are, you know? But he's yeah. famous because Trump is always hating on him because he stood up, he, like, kept the democracy intact. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's I, cool, though. Look at all those fucking things on his chest. Look at the little flags. Are those are all the countries that he, he bombed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there one for swimming or something? Yeah. Like, are there other, like, is it canoeing and stuff? The like very, the Boy the Scouts or no? The very top one is for swimming. If you, <laughs> if you can hold your breath in an Olympic pool down and back once, yeah. give you the first. You get the top one. one? That's the first. Can you one. zoom in a little bit? I'll tell you what all those are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me what all those are. All right. So the top one's swimming, right? The very, very right top. underneath it to the left, the green, green and yellow. A dozen chicken wings in under a minute. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what it is. I had no idea. Yeah, my my uncle's in the military. He tells me all this fucking yeah. stuff. It's wild. Oh, I know the one to the right. Where he the, broke three boards with the karate chop. Yeah, karate chop. That's karate chop board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Karate so chop. that's I've, I have one of those. It's the not, one it's somehow that. not that impressive. I somebody. know. I mean, I have one. My dad has one. Well, my whole family has like, one. Do you have a karate chop uh, medal? No, I got to yellow belt, and I uh, <laughs> my mom started taking karate. Single mom 
cool, but single mom style. She took it. The same, I was taking karate at the same time. She was taking karate, and then she, so she took because I was taking it. And then I I failed the orange belt test, and she passed the orange belt test. I was like, Fuck karate. No, really? I Wait, you're, did she keep going? Is yeah. your mom a black belt now? No, she stopped after I stopped. After she fucked you up, she quit. That's so funny that your mom stopped after she beat you. So you have yellow still for the rest of your life, and your mom has orange. Yeah. Man, that's so cool. Um, your mom's the shit. <laughs> Is she available to come on the show at some point? Um. I, I mean, what does she do for a living? She's a brilliant artist. Like she, she was famous she in Japan, and, the, <laughs> and that's why I started taking Japanese lessons. I just, What's her name? Can we look? Can we showcase her art? If you really, I would love to. Unfortunately, her online presence isn't killer. Someone else has her name. If you look up Suzanne Marie Art Del Mar, you'll find her. Suzanne Marie Art Del Mar. So down in Del Mar, does she have a shop? So yeah, that's one of her. Uh, like that one, the second one. Like that's some of her art. Okay. Okay. Let's see some. Her of... art's been in a bunch of movies and stuff. And oh, okay. Shows and stuff. Like, Whoa, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me see. Zoom in on that. She was like legit superstar in the 90s. Can I tell you? I was in uh, Japan a few years ago. Yeah. And I walked by an art gallery and I went inside. And in Japanese, these people don't speak English. I was like, Boku no Okasan Suzanne Marie Des. Like my mom is Suzanne Marie. And they were all freaking out. Cause she was like, I think they were freaking out because you spoke Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you know, oh, oh. Pearman, <laughs> Pearman speak Japanese too. <laughs> And this creepy old Japanese guy who's like probably 70, he was like, oh, Suzanne Marie, very tall. And I was like, okay. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. That's fucking great, actually. She's, she's so special. Is that oil? Um, I don't uh, I don't know what it was made on. Uh, I don't know. Do you watch her work ever? I uh, know. You don't fucking know what your mom's, what medium of she art she uses. Oil, she uses, uh, she uses acrylic. Where does she live? San Diego? Yeah, yeah. Del Mar, we know. And do you go down there and visit her? Yeah. And you don't see her studio? Um, she's not doing as much as she used to. She's older. She's not old. old. She's not old. She's been doing on some other. But she's still with the, your stepdad. Yeah, yeah. You like him? Yeah. What does he do? Uh, he's a doctor. Oh, she did good. Yeah, he said Del Mar. Oh, Del Mar, nice. Living in Del Mar, if he's yeah. You, know, you ever go to the Del Mar Fair? Teaching fourth I've been grade. To Del Mar Fair. I love the Del Mar Fair. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. part of San Diego. It's very nice. I like it up there. Del Mar is beautiful. Yeah, I'm lucky. I grew, it's funny. Like I grew up a single mom style, in, like a ta little townhouse, you know, and like like. Uh, and like artist styles, so like some years like we have money, some years like we're broke. What are we doing, you know? And uh, but all my friends are like filthy rich. Yeah, that's gotta be wild to grow up in that world where you are the poor artist scumbag <laughs> child, and so everybody you... else is finance kids. I remember like my buddy got like a BMW M3 for his 16th birthday. And, for his fucking birthday? Oh yeah, and, wow. then, and, then, he gets, and then he has a job at the. They all, this is what they do because the one of them marries. Uh, the dad marries a uh, normal, kind woman, you know, who's like not <laughs> rich, you know, that's the generation, you know, yeah. now women have jobs. It's beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, I'm saying am I canceled? So then, um, <laughs> but then, uh, but then like they, they get jobs at like the movie theater. Cause like my mom told me I have to get a service job. But they have to just work a regular job. Jobs is M3 to make like uh, $5 an hour at the movie. Keep theater. them humble in some way. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a balance. Yeah. I get that. Mm. That makes sense though. Mm -hmm. Cause you had money coming. You worked at the fucking coffee shop or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I worked at Post Atlantic. Did you really? Yeah, for two, uh, t uh, three years. Post Atlantic. God, that's so funny. Yeah. Can we go back to your mom's art or no? I used to. Be, I could hold an envelope and tell you how much it weighed and how many stamps it needed. Yeah. That's so pathetic. That's my mom's art. Can I yeah. buy it? How much is a piece? You're so sweet. I would love to connect you. She's she is she's been. But how much is it? I don't know. I don't know. Her. Guess. It says six hundred dollars. I mean, oh, that's six hundred dollars. This is a serigraph. It's not an original. Oh. But um, I'll do the six hundred. Okay. I mean, yeah, this yeah. Is, I don't. This doesn't go to her, but this is some like creepy guy who has her stuff from a long time ago. Yeah. Then I won't add it to cart. Yeah, yeah. don't buy it from this. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't like these people. Whoever they are, they're just scumbags who like own her stuff from a long time ago. And, Re oh, really? And they're reselling her art. Yeah. Well, this show is gonna help. So I guess don't. Don't buy any any of the fans that are interested. Please don't buy anything unless it's going to be direct. <laughs> and if you want to buy direct for Taylor's mom's art, his phone number is right here on the screen. We're going to put it up right on the screen. Taylor's direct cell phone number. Call him and ask him for uh, the link to his mom's art. Thank I you. I appreciate honestly, like uh, my please. I there's, there's another Suzanne Marie respect to her, but it's not my mom. The one that's mostly on the internet, not my mom. She just didn't adapt to social media and all right. that. But she's just mm. more private collector. She's a big thing at Hebrew University. If you ever go out there, she does a lot of things for private collectors. If you can't get a hold of Taylor from the phone number we just put on the screen, <laughs> we're going to also put up his home address right now. <laughs> I'd like you to go by his house, say hi to him, give him a handshake, uh, and tell him that you'd like to buy some of his mom's art. Yeah. Keep going. Thank you. Yeah. She teaches it. So she teaches art at Hebrew University? Oh, or? She, her work has been in- oh, Let's go Let's go back to your past. I think her art- Can we go back to your past? Her art's in the movie Bachelor Party where it falls off the wall. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Tom Hanks? Yeah. Woo! Great movie. I love that movie. She has the art piece that falls off the back of the wall. Yeah. Hmm. Barry Diamond's in that movie. Barry Diamond. I've opened for him. Rest in peace. Let's move on.
He's not dead. Is he not? No. Oh, wow. Some people so, you just think are dead. Yesterday I thought, is John Goodman dead? No, he's still alive. I know. I know. And But but uh, but do you, you know, know who just I, died? Who? Jimmy Carter's wife. Yeah. Rosalind Carter. She did? She was 94. Oh, no. He's 99, still alive. What's he up to, J JC? <laughs> <laughs> like just every second, I want to stay alive. He's just staying alive. Staying alive, dude. That rest in peace. I saw a video today of a guy who's 103 years old. They said, what's the secret? I mean, it's just go, no? No, no, you got to ride it out. Oh, you got to ride it out? Till the wheels fall off. Yeah. Now, with that picture of him with the thing over his eye, I remember this happened. Who fucked him up? <laughs> Was he at a bar and just got fucking not... Imagine Jimmy Carter. Oh, I know what it is. Look, he looks Japanese there. Oh. Stop Asian hate. Stop That's Asian what happened, hate. dude. Did someone attack Jimmy Carter thinking he was Asian? <laughs> 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 Fuck you, you old Asian piece <laughs> yeah, of yeah. shit. <laughs> Doesn't he look kind of look, look at it? Oh, he's going in the sky. Oh. He's staring right at an eclipse and they tell you not to look at it, but yeah. there he is looking right at it. <laughs> These aren't the best photos of him. <laughs> the internet does this, man. When yeah. you get older, they put up so many fucking rude photographs of you. Yeah. This is why you're supposed to die young, dude. Right. Marilyn Monroe is the best example. She died at 36 years old. There isn't a bad photo of the girl. And the guy, uh, the, James Dean. James Dean. Oh, yeah. Same guy. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Steve McQueen. You know what I mean? There's no bad photos. Look up Steve McQueen. There's no bad photos of this fucking guy. It's imp when you die young, they can't take a bad photo of you. Mm. Look at that fucking guy, dude. He was like seventy there, no? No, he looks great. Dude. No, when did Steve McQueen die? Didn't he die young on the younger side? He died of cancer, right? When did he die? How old was uh, Steve McQueen? Mm -hmm. Fifty. Yeah, he's a young guy. Wow. That's young. Wow. That's young as shit. Fifty years old, man. Fifty so fucking young. That's What's that? So young. He died in Juarez. Yeah, Juarez, Mexico, right? Wow. And in. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot get a bad photo while you're 50. <laughs> you know what, dude? I know what you're fucking doing right now. <laughs> I don't even He's know. targeting at you all day today. You're tr are you talking? <laughs> Look up Bobby Lee. See if there's any bad photos of him. You're trying to talk shit. Look at these images. Handsome, cute, cool, Handsome. funny, sharp. Okay. You look like Sarah Jessica Parker in that one picture. Yeah, you do. <laughs> cool shirt. Look at that, though. Not one bad photo, Andres. You jerk. You can't even tell the difference there between me and Steve. No, nah, you can a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good photos. So recant what you said. Take it back, Fancy, please. I was just asking. Can no, no, no. You know what you were doing. You were shooting your shot. Uh, 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 honestly, honestly, dude, I, I'm going to be real. And is I that was a gonna, picture I was going to fucking let it go, dude. What is your fucking problem with me today, dude? <laughs> I was going to let it go, but what the fuck is your problem with me today, dude? You've been attacking me since fucking I got, I got here. Yeah. I've only been nice to you. And also, can I say something? I've been giving you hugs, dude. Yeah, you ha he has been hugging women. Have I not been hugging you? Your fucking ugly pork body. Oh, my God. Hey, be nice. We you look like a sea fly. No. <laughs> I don't know what sea Shrimp shumai. I don't know. You said shrimp shumai. Hey, sorry. I'm so sorry that you went through that. What food won't you eat? I don't eat a lot of foods. I'm a picky eater. Yeah, I can tell. I, I can tell. He's got that look fucking picky white eater guy. Uh, yeah, thing. yeah. Look, let me ask you something. Yeah. Would you eat um, fried butterfly wings? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to. Like, uh, I would prefer not to. Like, if I was, I would. Are you a meat eater? I don't eat red meat. How about right. this? So but you eat, you eat white meat. I, I eat like chicken and turkey, yeah. How about this? Yeah. So the, yeah. I'm at a restaurant, I'm a waiter, I put down a nice plate of sauteed monkey farts. Yes. You would eat it. Uh, what region are they from? Right. A Papua New Guinea. Oh my God. You're not going to eat that? <laughs> I'll eat that. Pass it my Papua way. Papua New Guinea has the best fried monkey, monkey farts? Yeah. Oh my they have the best. Delicious. Sauteed. Oh. <gasps> sauteed monkey farts, not fried. A little bit of garlic. Yeah, yeah. I would eat it because I feel bad that it's going to waste. Like the monkey farts just died. Oh, you're a preservation guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, There's like probably not a lot of food there. Can I guess what your favorite <laughs> meal is? It doesn't yeah. seem solid. Your favorite meal? Yeah. I want to say pizza for some reason. You feel like you like no, pizza. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? I never liked mac and cheese. I, I, get, the, I get the vibe why you- You that. never liked, liked mac, mac and cheese? And cheese. That's an insane, that's a claim I don't think I've ever heard a human say before. Porridge. Oh, <gasps> no, I don't. A little don't, porridge you're boy. You're a porridge boy, dude. Are you a pot pie guy? No, I don't like those consistencies. Well, oh, so you give, give me consist, consistency and I'll tell you what you eat. Beans? That's it. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you just eat beans? Yeah, I don't like beans. You don't like beans? No. Oh, no, give me consistency you like and then we're going to try to guess. I mean, it's not like all I eat, but like, I guess like. Uh, you're a big Chick fil A guy, aren't you? 
Yeah, see, I got oh, it. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Did you Fuck. Chick-fil-A? It only took me a few. What? Did you see in my car? I didn't look at no, your car to know car. where you parked. That was a my, natural guess. You do look- Chick-fil-A bit? I have a bit about Chick-fil-A. Oh, really? Really. Let's not hear it. No, I don't want to- I'm not I don't want to hear it. The waffle fries? They got you. Well, I like how that. many chicken? How many, how many little nugs are we getting? What pack? Twenty. They're all good. But I'm usually if I'm driving, I would get the sandwich because I'm driving. Sammy drive. If I'm okay. not driving, the strips. Mm. Ooh. But then the nuggets are probably the most delicious. So I understand you have a childlike appetite. Sure, but I've I've gotten better at it though. Like I can go to on dinner with a lovely lady or a business thing, and I can pretend I don't want fish sticks. Will you push around the salad though? You're not going to eat the salad. I don't love salad. Dressing. I know. I can tell you. I'm a beautiful that. woman. I meet you online. You you broke up with your girl from Atlanta. Yeah. I, I'm a Japanese. <laughs> What's your name? Hello. Tiko. Oh. <gasps> Tiko. Tamiya. Konnichiwa. No, Tiko. T I. Oh, Tiko Tamiya. Yeah, Tiko Tamiya. <laughs> You're half Japanese. No. I don't think Tiko is a name. No, it's my internet name. Oh, okay. I'm an influencer. <laughs> First Tamiya. of all, dude, let's not disrespect Tiko Tamiya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pretty well known. All right, I'll go Menesai. That's I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know that. I'm. Are you American? I'm an American. I respect. I'm so sorry for assuming that you should speak, speak the language. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, Tewa. <laughs> anyway, Tewa. You have the accent though, even though you're born in San Diego. She's an influencer, dude. I'm an influencer, dude. All right. Yeah. And I, you know, I hawk um, seaweed snacks. Yes. On my um, TikTok. Yes. So anyway, um, where are we eating? What restaurant are you gonna take me? Well, when you do that, let me say something. I love that noise. Yeah. You did that with the waffle fries and the fucking chicken sandwiches, right? Um, yeah. Is that the noise your penis made when you kissed Heidi Klum? It may, I did you get hard? Correctly. No. Okay. No. So anyway, back to me. Respect to her though. Like, What's my name again? Uh, Tico. What's my last name? Tico Tamai. <laughs> Komai. Tico Komai. Anyway, where are we eating? <laughs> um... I'm I'm not sure. I'm like I. Well, you didn't make reservations. I, it's like I take you maybe like a nice uh, vegan Thai food restaurant. Interesting. I saw I saw I saw Ed Begley Jr. there once. <laughs> so. I... Okay. <laughs> Ed Begley Jr. Yeah. That's a good one. That is good. Yeah. I love him. So I met him once. He's super vegan, sweet. So a vegan Thai joint. May, maybe I mean I'm not vegan, but like somewhere interesting conversation. But have you been there before? Yeah, I scope it out. You now, know. have you eaten there before? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Where's it at? I'm not looking to plug this. I mean, there's one in the, in the Studio City area. Okay. You should go. Do you think that's a good date? No. This sounds like a bad date. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. You're not. Okay. What do we do afterwards? You know, um, I don't know. Like, I've been in the relationship thing. I'm just trying to think of a single life. What do you do? Like, maybe. I don't know. You go to a bar like, down the street. This Vent what bar? Ventura has a lot of bars. Tico, you're sober. Yeah, I'm sober. <laughs> Maybe I just say goodnight and like, cause I'm not in a hurry. I'm an older guy now. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I have a dog to go home. I want to smash. Then maybe I go listen. Let's. I want to. Where are we gonna smash? I have a dog now, so I don't know. I mean, I've had. A, I guess I go. <laughs> we, Man, I hope I, you. I hope you stay in this relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Can I tell you? So wait, wait. I'm so I, this is gonna be tough. I don't even know where to, to start. Like, where do you start? Like, I, I would say come to my place. No, you're talking to me. So don't go. Tico, yeah, so baby. so no, where are we gonna go? I would say Tico, I've had a great uh, with dinner after dinner. So dinner checks paid. We're staring at each other. Are you paying? And you're staring at me. Are like, you paying? Yeah. Oh, thank you for paying. Yeah. Where are we going? Well, we where are we back. gonna smash? Oh God, Tico, look at how much he tipped. Sixteen <laughs> percent. Oh, wow. That's pretty. You know when you, when I saw that? <laughs> <laughs> a little juice. Got wet? Yeah, a little bit. I tipped a slightly over. Yeah, sixteen. <laughs> she oh. she likes it when I you're, love it. when you're a bad boy. Yeah. It's bad boy. And are dude. you telling me that? No, no. You can hear it. You have, you have hearing, I right? I have poor hearing. I what do you think that is when I hear, you hear that? <laughs> I had a tumor as a child, and I can't hear in this ear. For, been, are you being serious? Yeah. You can't hear out of your left I ear that well. Very poor hearing in my left ear. Where was the tumor? <laughs> he laughs at the, <laughs> sad, the sad parts of it. It's just life. so sad. When I'm sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. You have a tumor there now. <laughs> uh, the tumor has been removed. But I have a titanium thing that allows me to hear. Oh, so you can't hear. I can't hear whispers. If you whisper, it's sweet. All right, so you don't hear it. What if I say it? So I go, quick, quick, and then I know you didn't hear it. I go, well, I just, <laughs> my vagina just made a noise. But can I ask a question on this? No, go ask, ask I me. I like to- Ask me, ask me. Uh, Tico. Tico, ma'am, are you, was it attractive to you that I tipped so little or that it's a lot to you? Which part was hot to you? 
Well, you know, usually guys try to impress, yeah, mm-hmm. and they'll they'll pay like you know. I dated Bobby Lee once. That guy, he tips he, like thirty percent. Yeah, thirty yeah. percent, and it's like too much. It's like me. Look at my big dick, yeah, yeah. right? And he has one. Yeah, that's why he True. does stuff like right. Excuse me. I I, I don't. Excuse me. <laughs> he does. We're talking about Bobby Lee. Yes, the comedian, big dick. Okay, I, I'm happy to hear. It. I heard. Yeah. I, I, What'd you hear? What'd you hear? I'm just gonna tell you what I heard. I wrote it down. You no, know, no, no. What'd you hear? Really? I'm telling you what. This is true. Yeah. So uh, we did a photo shoot, me and Betty, with Jen Rosenstein today, the yeah. photographer. Yeah. Love Jen Rosenstein. Uh-huh. And she told me to say, because uh, I told you I was worried you're going to be mean to me, like you, you told me you would be. Yeah. And she says for me to tell you, be nice to Taylor or his dog is going to bite off your tiny pee-pee. Hmm. She's not a comedy writer, is she? I'm just, I didn't. You know who she's married to, right? Yeah. My ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. But I, I that's, a, that's a bad shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. I'm calling Jet. All right, call her up. I'm going to call her. <laughs> call her up. That's fucked up. No, I want you to call her up. Are we done with the role play, though? No, we're not done. Okay. Please. <laughs> no, we're going back. Are we done with the I, role yeah, play? Yeah. You're I, just getting started, baby. I assume yeah, yeah. it's large. I don't like stereotypes, you know? <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? So you know who Taylor Taylor Williamson is? I do. So yeah. we're having him on the pod right now. Me and Andrew. He's on the show right He's now. On the show right now. <laughs> so are you? Everybody. So are Hi. you? So um, <laughs> your yes. wife. Yes. Wrote a letter to me, claiming that I have a small penis. A tiny pee pee. Okay. A tiny pee pee. Okay. So what the <laughs> fuck is going on around here? <laughs> what did she write? A, she wrote a letter. It was, mm-hmm. I, I, dict- she dictated it to She me. dictated it to down. Taylor and says that if, would you, well, tell me exactly what he said. I'm going to. Um, she said for me to tell Bobby, be nice to Taylor or his dog is going to bite but, off your tiny pee pee. It's going to bite off my tiny pee pee. Now, let, it's, it's very interesting. Um, yeah. Are you telling your wife that I have a tiny pee pee? No. No, we've never talked about your genitalia, my love. Let's ever. Talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So you've seen my genitalia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That, listen, yeah. listen, listen. You know, I have, am, I have complete. We are not. We don't function the same. That is her own autonomous opinion based on whatever is going on. She told me that story when she got home. That she told Taylor to say that to you. I was like, "Did you really?" And she's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Okay." Well, okay. Well, I, you know, yeah. I, she needs consequences. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. She needs consequences or there's going to be a problem between I, you and I. There needs Bobby. to be consequences. She needs to be reprimanded. Bobby. Where's Jen at? She, she's not here. Okay. She's not. I need consequences. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Love you. I love Goodbye. you. Bye. Bye. Guy puts the hammer down. That's great. And I, I'm way, Tico. Tico back. By the way, she Tico's won't. back. Tico's back. <laughs> Tico's back in the scene. Tico, please tell Bobby that ba- my dog also won't bite off. Anyway, anyway, we're not talking about Bobby Lee. Man. What I want to say yes. is we're going to go to your place and we're going to smash. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Tico. Is this a first date, by the way, Tico? Well, you would know, right? Have I, have I met you before this? Right. 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 So then, ding dong, it yeah. would be our first fucking date, right? Yeah. He must be dating a lot of Asian girls. Yeah. How many fucking... <laughs> he just looks so much like anyway, the other... Anyway, we're going to yeah. go to your house and smash. Okay. No condom. I can't. You can't wear condom? I, I can't do no condom. We stop. Can we... Can, I want to break out a character real quick. Go ahead. May I? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I, if that was a monogamous thing, I would be. So you, you, how many times have you won a condom? Every time. No, in the, in my relationship, I have never not. Well, I mean, we, we the beginning. I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna have uh, no condom sex with a stranger. Good for you. I listened to Love Line. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. I didn't have condom. Carlos, <laughs> learn. Have you had sex without a condom with a stranger? Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten, I've gotten, I've gotten STDs for, with my skin. You Let's know? go to commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's just like the, the yeah, yeah. Hair. Like I've had stuff on my. What do you mean skin? My skin, my body. You, so you've had STDs. My trunk. My trunk. 
Yeah. So you've had sex with a girl and then you had STDs on your skin? Yeah. Oh, I, on your chest? Yeah, like, there's like skin con skin stuff that you can get from towels and stuff. It's not that exciting. Yeah. What are you into sports at all? Um, as a fan? Yeah, like are you a fan of sports? Do you watch sports? I, my thing is I always like pro wrestling. That was the thing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so not real. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it's like a play. You're like a, you're like the, you like the theatrical. Theater. Yeah. Yeah. I've, like who who's your favorite pro wrestler? I mean, there he goes that I mean, I, I can't, these are great questions I wasn't prepared for and they change over the years. You know, you don't meet your heroes, you meet them and you're like, well, he's off the list, you know? Like, yeah. When I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like uh, Gerald Briscoe, I've become friends with Gerald Briscoe, who's an amazing, he's like WWE Hall of Famer. He's nice. Yeah, yeah, great. I, Do you still go to the events? So, um, I go less now, but like I'm, I've been spoiled. You know, we get to invited to things. I've been to so many, like yeah, big mm, ones. Yeah, like, uh, I went to WrestleMania this year in LA. Oh really? Oh, you did. <laughs> I was supposed to start working for Fox Sports. They were gonna. I was gonna be like the, like a Daily Show tor correspondent for Fox. Do you go? You have a little He-Man in your pocket, <laughs> <laughs> right? He's got like a Yoda Pez dispenser. I He's just ready. I don't. He's just ready to go. I don't understand. Do you like boxing? I'm not a fan of like these. Uh, I know it's not good for my comedy career, but, yeah. but like I'm not a big MMA fan. No, we're oh, not. We're, we're not big MMA say, guys either. Never said that either. You guys are on, like front row. Like, well, I know people. Fights and, no, we've been to the fights. Yeah, we've been to the fights. But it's not like we're not big. I'm not a fight. If you couldn't ask me, I didn't know. I don't know the ins and outs. I think you could take Edson Bar 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 Barbosa. Thank you. In a fight. I, I, you know, that's the third time I've heard that today. Okay. Yeah. I want to. Um, I'm gonna show you, there's a new boxing league that I'm really into. I wanna show you guys and I wanna get your opinion okay, about it because I'm a huge fucking fan. This is like one of their premier fights that they just had. And you tell me who you think won. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Couple of points. I, that's pretty good. <laughs> what do you mean? What, we started, you both are in. Oh. So for people that love the show, yeah, they've yeah. been asking us for years, what's Doc up to? <laughs> Dude, how crazy is that? That's a great double punch. <laughs> double punch. Whoop. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. 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 The black guy hasn't landed a punch. <laughs> it's so unfair it's because so the other unfair. guy's got like a full full upper body. Yeah. Oh, whoop. Uh -oh. there it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little tip tap. A little tip tap. Yeah. Is that a pacifier in his mouth? Yeah. Yeah. He's just a little baby fighting. No, dude, it's a mouth guard. It's pacifier, you lunatic. All right, he's knocked that guy down no less than 12 times yeah. in this clip. God, it's, God, it's oh. incredible. Yeah. But it looks legit. Whoa, whoa. It's like a very... See, he gets up the same way I do because of my bad back. Like, I can't, he can't really bend. Oh. God, he's fine, God, man. Killing that guy, but look. <laughs> he won. He won. <laughs> <laughs> he won. He, he won. Laugh. It's so funny. He won. Wow. Yeah. No, we're laughing at the brutalization. No, but now. the other guy laughed after he saw you lost. <laughs> yeah. 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 Somehow, some piece of me thinks it was a plant. <laughs> but man, the way he go to the very first second, the way he charges him, look at how hard he charges at this guy. He, he could have really good. fucking hurt him. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, man. Whoa. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's a little much. Dude. It's a lot. <laughs> Anyway, I'm into this now. Yeah, but the, uh, it looks like the, the the guy in the blue though is um, a little person from just from the waist down almost. Yeah, he has like a, I think a what torso happened is, in the well when he was getting born he halfway came out and then his mom sneezed and then <laughs> <laughs> I see I see, I see how that works. <laughs> She's gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. That is funny. It's like, funny. Then it's funny 30 seconds later when you visualize it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no disrespect wow. to these guys. We love the hustle, the tenacity. Yeah, it's amazing. We're not really into any of that. We don't fucking. Yeah. He loves soccer. Oh, yeah. That's his number one. Football, football, football. And we love soccer in this in this room because of him. We support soccer. But you, you don't like any sports then, aside from WWE. I, I like them. Can I, can I brag about my little cousin? He's 10 years old. He's being scouted by LA. Keep Gallagher. plugging your family, man. We're buying your mom's art. We got a fucking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, holy shit. And Which, your son's being. Your, well, who? Your cousin? Who? Cousin is LA Galaxy. He's like he like he, he's like a little soccer prodigy. Wait, he, the LA Galaxy is scouting him? Yeah. And he's 10? Yeah. Wow. No, 10? Yeah. 10? I know. Yeah, he's, they know. They've brought at 10? Yeah, they know. They, they know at 10. They, he's gone out to the, the stadium. They've he's yeah. white? Yeah. How, how old was he's Messi like, when he went to Barcelona? How old was Messi when he went to Barcelona? Probably 14, 15. Yeah, but I, you know, I know that the Arsenal Academy, the team that I like, you know. 13. He was 13. 
It's not a stretch. I think the Americans are doing that now. That's but he was also it, so yeah. doing it. He he didn't he, he didn't just show up at thirteen. And goes, can I, I do it? I know, you know but I, mean? I know, but I he had it. done it for like five years. Or <laughs> I'm saying, I get it when yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. basketball and football because these guys are just bigger than everybody. But at, at ten, you really can't tell who's. They're yeah, all they, the same size. He, right. he was, he's from Argentina too. Argentina too. So they had to fly him out. Mm. They're flying him out. You're living here or staying at the academy, Look right? And so you know he had, he must be killing it at seven eight years old. They can tell. He must be just like murdering everyone around him. Jackie yeah. Chan did that. His parents sent him away. What? Jackie Chan was sent to go to be like a martial artist. You think he doesn't know about his own uncle? <laughs> Relax. Relax, dude. <laughs> I know what my uncle did. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Wait, where's Toki? Oh, he wants her. Where's back. Toki? Where does she go? Oh, Tiki. <laughs> Tiki. Is it Tiki? I, I could I could say where is Tiki in Japanese. Do you want to hear? Yeah. No. Yeah. Go ahead. Tiki wa doko desu ka? I am here. Oh. <laughs> Tiki wa doko desu ka is such a long way of saying where is she? Yeah. In my so, special, I have jokes. Is there about slang? The language. Yeah. Oh. I never learned. I only learned formal speaking, like really the way you talk to a grandma. How do you talk? You're like that. Like, Very, how are you? Proper. Today? Wow. Yes. Thank you for asking. I'm having a nice day, you know? Because most guys, if they're with a woman for the first time and she goes, I don't want a condom, I think I would just gamble. Mm -hmm. Would you? Um, She's hot. Sure. Yeah. Right? And she's like, yeah, we just don't if have If it's Toki, then yeah. Oh, Tiki. <laughs> Tiki, Toki. If it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you would. Then I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, okay. it, then it kind of makes sense that to me. Voice, it's the voice for me. You know? Yeah, that's kind of what sells everybody. <laughs> when this episode comes out, we do want to remind our friends and family of the Bad Friends uh, people to go watch uh, Live from the Comedy Store, a Taylor Williamson special. Yeah, go check it out. Not Taylor Tomlinson. Respect to Taylor me. Williamson. Don't watch her stuff anymore. Yeah. That's that's what Taylor says. Don't watch her. I've never said that. Watch me. He, he says that stuff a lot. She's your arch nemesis, you said. I, 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 making it, I made a joke. She's wonderful. Okay. Are man. you friends with her? I, I would, Doesn't we're, sound we're like friendly. it. We're friendly. <laughs> no, she, you're not. I would love to be friends with her. We just when she walks her. by, you yeah. give her a look. No, I give her a, I give her a hug. She's oh, your, your hug status with her. She's open for me in San Diego. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's not in How does that feel? <laughs> no, no. Uh, she's now a talk show host. It's wonderful. It's she's so selling talented. out huge she's theater theaters. Yeah. I'm on tour, by the way. You want to hear where I'm going? No. Yeah. Did you know that she was gonna blow up when she opened for you? I mean, she. I, I've never like that. It didn't even exist when you were younger. The superstardom she has. Right. You know? Yeah. I knew she was really special. I didn't know that she's me. Well, we know that you're really special. Do you want to hear what the cities I'm going to? Mm. Okay, go ahead. Just let them do it. Play music over this. Go ahead. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Loud, though, yeah. so you can barely make out the days and the dates. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Calgary, Fort Wayne. <laughs> Turn the mic off. That's so good. No, where are you going? Calgary? Stop me anytime. My website is in my, my Stop. calendar. Stop. Calgary's good. <laughs> go to go to his website. TaylorLivingston.com has my account. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, to TaylorLivingston.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll find Touring you. Baby. around America, and, I, and uh, I'd love to have people come watch me. We're gonna come watch you. We want our fans to come watch you. Yeah. What did you just pull up? Was that him? Was that his website? No, it's Bobby. Man knows his Asian Nazi facing okay. federal charges of illegal gun purchase. I want to bring the fuck this are you up. Doing man. Uh, you know what, dude? Yeah. We talked about. I stopped. We had a famous. <laughs> I quit after that article. No, well, it looks like you didn't. You're still on the move. Yeah. An East Texas man with a penchant for dressing as a Confederate soldier and singing Dixie online now faces multiple charges as related to illegal gun purchases. We, I think he's Korean too. We, he is. We talked on this show years ago. About him, right? About, wouldn't it be funny about a, having all an Asian Confederate soldier? Yeah. This guy's it. Wow. Should we have him on? <laughs> I think he's amazing. We gotta have him on. He's whistling Dixie with a, with a Confederate flag and he's staunch. He's very racist. Yeah. We, all right. Let me tell you something. We've had such a good show with our guest who we love very much. Yeah. Bobby uh, said to me, we got to get Taylor on the show. And yeah. I said, absolutely. <laughs> did you say that? I don't think so. No, let, let me, let, no, uh, let's no, be honest. No, being honest, yes, I, of course I did. You, you said, really? And I go, yeah, don't you think? And, he, and then you said, yeah. Yeah, I actually, you know yeah, what? I really, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, we, I want Taylor on the show. And I go, really? And my instinct was, and you'll, you'll know why, this is not an insult. I thought, is he going to be able to handle you to you? Why me? You're in trouble. What are you fucking talking about, trouble dude? Trouble in Little China? Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say that, Trouble in Little China. But I did. Fuck you, dude. But I did say I, that. I was going to say Yeah, that. fuck you, dude. I thought, because you're a, you're a comic, you can only handle anything. I don't, I, don't, I don't try to be diminutive of you being able to handle stuff, but I thought, sometimes Bob can be heavy. 
And sometimes guests don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. We've had guests before that just don't right. feel comfy because we have fun and go goofy yeah. and he goes wild. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. sometimes they're like, I don't even know how to feel. Yeah. But I thought, nah, Taylor can handle it. He's funny enough and like quick they, enough. It the hair matter. stuff? Oh, dude, you're in the pocket. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What does that mean? You were like, I'm sticking with my guns. Well, listen, I'm like, I'm a- And I love it. Can I tell you, like, I'm a fan of both of you as stand-ups, and I enjoy your show. Like, I, 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 this show makes me laugh when I watch it. And it Do you really watch it? It comes up on my YouTube algorithm. Really? I watch clips all the Name time. Name me a moment. Uh, Carlos talking about uh, getting milked in the, in the. Okay. That's his fault. Guy yeah. watch, guy watches the show. Wow. I'm a fan I, of, I watch everyone, but I watch it, and I'm curious. I mean, also, I'm curious how people participate, but I, I get it. You have a vibe, and some, and get the vibe if you go on it. Or don't go on it. You're doing. And I got you the vibe. Great. You got the vibe. I brought. By the you way, you brought vibe. Well, I had to come back because I. And got, you came and attacked me. A little. I loved it. I, I thank you. Yeah, and, you're welcome. But you've warned me too. You said I don't know if you can handle it, and I prepared myself to handle it. Yeah, you did. And I, I over, I brought too much ammo. By the way, so you got to have me back because I have this two truths and a lie thing that would be so much joy for all of you. I know we will do that when you yeah, come yeah, back, yeah. and when you do come back, we'll have Chick Fil A for you. How's that sound, kiddo? I, huh? Does Daddy make you happy now? Dada. <laughs> thank you for being a bad That's friend. Fine. 